Hey y'all. Um, so I am here today with my monthly favorites video for the month of May. Um, some of the stuff is beauty, some of it is clothing, some of it is home goods. There's really a lot of different categories. Um, I will say one thing that I did not include in this video is um, my stuff that I've been buying for like weight loss and everything. I'm going to do a separate video on that and I understand this is probably like a really odd angle. I have a bunch of stuff in front of my desk right now since I'm cleaning out so I'm kind of having to prop my tripod up on that and it's kind of like below me and I have it wound up as high as it'll go so we're just gonna go for it and see how it works and I've got some weird lighting I wonder if this lamp would help does that make it worse I think I'll just leave the lamp off um but yeah let's get started so one of the first things the first two things that are some of my monthly favorites that I have been just absolutely obsessed with this month are two candles. And the first one, if you watched the Influencer unboxing? No, not Influencer. Pop Sugar. The Pop Sugar um, must have box. You would have seen me mention this produce candle in the rhubarb scent and I said that I originally hated this candle. I thought it sucked but now I'm just in love and it's really sad because it's getting really low. don't know if you can see that but it's getting really low so I'll be sad when this runs out because I probably won't order another one. But something as long as they have it again that I may buy again is the Garden Party Vintage Lace Soy Candle from Target. This was, this is like the, I want to say that this is the large one because they have the smaller ones. I saw, I think this is the like medium or large and it's, um, I've got to figure out how did this thing will focus but it's vintage lace and when I first smelled this in the store I said it smells like sweet old lady and my, when I told my husband that he's like it's so it smells like old lady I'm like no it smells like you know when you see some old ladies and they just smell so good like just very kind of florally perfumey this is what that candle candle reminded me of in the store but when I started burning it it still has that scent to it but it's very it's very floral I love this candle you can probably tell because I have used most of it and I mean it's down to there now and it was originally like up to here um adore 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 and I when I first got this candle I I found it in Target and then I didn't get it because I was like do I really want to spend ten dollars on a candle I've never bought I've never bought one of these before but it took me a while to get it and then when I went back to actually buy the candle it was gone and for like four times after that every time I would go to Target they didn't have any and I finally we went out of town just on a little day trip with my in-laws and we went to a Target um where we went I think it was in Jacksonville Florida I think and they had these in all the sizes and I'm like you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and get the large or whatever size this is and I did it and I love it and they about a couple of weeks ago they actually restocked this scent at my target 
So maybe next time I go to Target, I just went yesterday, but I forgot to look. I might get another one of these because I just adore it. And if you love anything like floral or perfumey or anything like that, highly suggest that. And I'm actually, I'm having like a bozo moment here. Why don't I just lower my chair and see if that helps? Oh, that's better. I should have done this the whole, since the beginning. Okay, so next thing is let's do a couple of like bath and skincare things. The first thing I'll do is this body wash. And this body wash, usually I would not spend this much on body wash. I am kind of cheap when it comes to stuff like that. And this is still wet from where my husband took a shower earlier. Um, but this, I'd heard a lot about this, wanted to try it out, so I figured I'd splurge. And it's lasted me a long time. I still have a little bit less than half in there. But that is the, oh, it's new apparently. The Aveeno Active Naturals Positively Nourishing smoothing body wash in pomegranate and rice and it says that it gently exfoliates to help reveal soft radiant skin i just like the candles i adore this stuff it is it has little hard pieces of i mean i guess that's maybe from the pomegranate but i know you can't probably see that but there's little, um, it's almost like, I can't describe it, it's almost like a shell of something, but it's really smooth. Mm. It's, it's very sweet smelling, um, but it's not, it's not overbearing. And I actually, you know, with a lot of body washes, I feel like... You know, I buy them because they smell good and then I use them and I can't even tell that I've used anything scented in the shower. But this, the scent does last for a little while after you get out of the shower. My husband actually smelled this a couple, I think I like a couple of hours after I got out of the shower. Um, he was sitting next to me. He said, you smell so good. I'm like, that's my body wash. <laughs> And it re it's not that this is like super duper expensive. It's just I'm used to spending like two, three dollars on body wash, and this was six. I'm not entirely sure, but really, really good. The next thing is this Saint Ives Blackhead Clearing Green Tea Scrub. And it's supposed to clear blackheads and calm redness. Now, I've been looking for a scrub for a while. And I haven't, I wasn't able to find one for the longest. I just couldn't decide on one. But I heard a lot about this one. And compared to other brands, this was like real cheap. I think it was four bucks. Um, but it smells smells so good if you like the way green tea smells you will love the scrub and I know a lot of people will try to incorporate scrubs into their um, regular skin routine and I never I used to be like real into scrubs facial scrubs and then I kind of got out of it and I went about probably two three years without buying like an actual scrub I would use masks and all that but sometimes you just don't get the same result and I do obviously have blackheads on my nose but for some reason I'll try to get to closer I have a little bit of makeup on so you probably can't tell but right here in this area I get very 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 bad like dry skin patches and I do have combination skin, but not until probably about three months ago did I start realizing these very bad um, dry patches. And I've never had really had that before. But this just... Okay, this is the scrub. But I have actually turned it into...
somewhat of a mask. I still use it as a scrub, but I kind of, what I do, I'll usually put it on before I get in the shower. And just on my skin, I'll, or on my hand, I'll squirt some out and rub it into my, I'll just kind of do like this on my face and just cover my face in it. And then I'll let it sit. So while I'm um, doing like my body wash in the shower, I'll let that sit. And then whenever I'm done, I'll just massage it into my face and exfoliate, wash it off, and it is wonderful. My makeup goes on so much better after I use that. So highly recommend that um, for the price it's good too. I keep thinking I hear somebody fixing a knock on my door. <laughs> so I'm like scared to talk now. But we'll keep going. So the next two, ooh. The next two things are makeup items. Oh, and I about forgot one thing. Let me go ahead and put it down here. Um, the first that I'll talk about is the um, Complete Eye Palette in Indie from Ulta. This is actually their, um, what do you call it? their birthday gift so when you if you're an Ulta rewards member whatever they're called they'll send you the coupon and for your birthday I'm assuming this is year-round I'm not entirely sure but there's a found out there's a very specific one that they give you they keep it behind the counter because I thought it was just anyone but luckily the one that I had picked out was basically the same colors and you get four eyeshadows and one powder liner love 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 this I have been using this like crazy this is pretty much the only palette that I've been using and um, it's so cute because it says happy birthday gorgeous all around it but beautiful beautiful colors um, they're very Like you kind of, it's one of those palettes that you kind of have to, depending on how thick you want it, you do have to kind of build it up, but for free, I'm not going to complain. And, I mean, you can see some of the colors. This is like, let's see, there's two browns. You probably can't see that one. This is like a, this is what I, this, there's a pale shade in the middle that's the one that I use for when I blend or if I don't use cream I'll put up here to kind of highlight and I just got that all over my eye but the um, colors in here are really nice and like I said for free you can't complain and I'm probably I know I'm out of frame but I'm just gonna grab a wipe and wipe my hand off so I don't get this eyeshadow all over everything else so okay next thing I've heard so much about this next thing in a different brand if you've ever heard I'm sure you have of a beauty blender they have a solid brush cleaner by their brand and I can't remember how much it was but it was I mean the price difference wasn't that big but um, basically it's like a little bar of soap and they have a little scrubby thing and you just swirl your brushes around in it well I got the Sephora brand and this thing is just life-changing totally 100% life-changing this is what it looks like it comes in a little plastic jar and what you get they give you this little pink scrubby, and I know you can't see. No, you definitely can't see. But all over this, there's these little bumps. And you use that to kind of rub the um, soap in. And it's just a solid bar. Smells so good. And it has literally cut down my brush cleaning time by... 
at least half. It's cut it down by half, I know. But wonderful stuff. Highly recommend it. I think it is $14. I'm not sure, but it's totally worth it. It's totally 100% worth it. I would definitely repurchase that. Now my mother-in-law is texting me. <laughs> I'll get to that later. But um, the next thing, well, since we're talking about makeup, are my Shaney, I think that's how you pronounce it, makeup brushes. I have been on the search for makeup brushes forever. I was actually going to order some from Sephora, just their store brand. And I just, I couldn't, what's the word I'm looking for? It just left me. Well, anyway, I couldn't see spending a hundred dollars on like three or four three or four brushes when I got this set. It's not even going to fit in the frame. This thing is huge. This is the case. It comes with this case. I believe it's twenty one, two, three, four, five, twenty-four brushes. I think. But you can see, I'm going to cover my face up a little bit. And brushes are falling out. There's another brush. But you can see how many brushes. These are brushes I already had, so don't look at those. But you can see how many brushes are in this thing. I mean, a ton. A ton, a ton, a ton. And some of these brushes I've never even used. But, I mean, there's like five different eyeshadow brushes. All kinds of stuff. These are wonderful. I think I paid 40 bucks for the whole thing. And it's, they call this a leatherette. It ties up. So, good for travel. Highly recommend that. Like I said, I think I paid around 40 bucks. Um totally worth it though to me I have bought other brushes before and those just blow the other ones out of the water so moving along for time's sake um next favorite is a fashion favorite and I'm sure most of you have heard of Birkenstocks the little sandals um a lot of people think they're tacky my they're kind of like I want to say a European thing but I did not want to spend the $120 on the pair that I wanted from Birkenstock or Birkenstock, if depending on how you pronounced it. Um, but I got these from Target for like 20 bucks. I had a coupon. Love, you can see my toe prints. I have been wearing, you can see on the heel, I have been wearing the heck out of these things. They are so comfortable. They're so easy to just slip on. I wear them with jeans. I've worn them with shorts. I've worn them with sweatpants because I just don't care. <laughs> but love, 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 love. Highly recommend those. I think they still do carry them. So definitely check those out at Target. Um, next thing, I got this when me and my husband went to Arkansas for a family get-together thing. And this is my Hobo Wallet. This thing isn't cheap at all. Is it worth it? Absolutely. I am the kind of person that if I splurge on anything, it will be a purse. I believe in making investments in purses and wallets and stuff like that because just like, I'll just show this real quick. I have had this, I've had this for like two years, I think. Two years? About two years. And that is my Michael Kors Jet Set, large Jet Set tote. Use the heck out of this thing. I baby this thing. And I have the matching wallet. Like I said, this was an investment. Was it cheap? No. Was it worth it? Absolutely. Because, I mean, if I would have had any other purse that I have, would have gotten from like Walmart or something like that for 20, 30 bucks, do you think it would have still look like this? Two years later no it wouldn't have and yeah there's a purse at target i want right now and i may get it but only because i haven't found like a higher like a 
really well made purse because I want like a backpack type or a crossbody and I haven't really found one anywhere else but if there's one thing to invest in it's definitely that but these have so much space I'm going to try to cover up my information but you can see it opens up there's like three spots for cards here your driver's license a zipper pocket that goes all the way down there is two pouches on each side this one is for your cards and this one is like for your cash with the change pocket and this is real leather this is like you can smell it. it smells like real leather and because it is but I almost got a neutral wallet and I was like you know what all of my stuff is neutral I really am like a neutral color person but I got this like beautiful robin's egg blue love it adore it been using it all month I'm probably about to switch back to my Michael Kors though um just so I don't totally wear it out but the next thing as far as movies books and all that I haven't read any books this month um but as far as other media love totally in love with 50 shades of gray I saw it when it came out in theaters I went by myself because my husband wasn't interested in husband wasn't interested in seeing it so I took myself and love the movie I understand that's not everybody's cup of tea that's fine it doesn't have to be but I have watched it since it came out like four times love it love it love it highly recommend a lot of people say oh it sucks compared to the book but you can't say oh it sucks because if they were to sit there and make the movie on every single detail of the book you'd be sitting there for six hours I mean come on but love it love it um I have a little lit like a cheat sheet of stuff that I wrote down so I wouldn't forget um as far as other things I've been really into Instagram lately really into that um and excuse me this next thing I understand most of y'all some of y'all may not support it that's okay everyone's entitled to their opinion but I have so enjoyed watching the transition of Bruce Jenner love him now that she is Caitlyn <laughs> my video is starting to play now that she is Caitlyn I love her she's gorgeous but I have really enjoyed um watching that and I do watch keeping up with Kardashians we don't actually have cable we have a Roku so I buy the episodes through Amazon the Amazon app on Roku um but yeah of course I one of my big like number one monthly favorites is YouTube I have so enjoyed putting you videos up on here since I started my channel it has just been wonderful it's been such a good experience so far and I just adore putting videos up I adore the people that have been leaving me comments with support and tips and just all the support I received I my monthly favorite is another one besides my channel is of course you guys thank you so much for being supportive I just can't thank you enough but if I had to talk about different channels on YouTube besides my own I have really in been into a channel um, for Markiplier now I I've always loved playing video games and I was like why would I watch someone else play video games but he is so hilarious so funny he's easy on the eyes I'll just go ahead and get that out in the open he's easy on the eyes but he is so hilarious he screams a lot so I understand that's not for everybody but I have so been just laughing my butt off at him um you probably can't see that but it's Markiplier on YouTube and he's just so funny so hilarious um, another person that I have been watching on YouTube a lot when they post videos is Gigi Gorgeous. Um, she is beautiful. Love her. Um, let's see. Oh, 
Um, I believe she's changed her name now on YouTube to Jennifer Ross, but I love organized like Jen. She is wonderful. She's beautiful. Love her channel. Love her. Never met her, but I just adore her. She's just so sweet. Um, but definitely into her and makeup by Tiffany D. I know that she's like very popular. She has she has a little bit under a hundred thousand um no one million <laughs> under one million um subscribers but she's wonderful she has a little girl and her little girl is just beyond precious i love watching her um but i think oh and graveyard girl bunny she's hilarious so definitely check out those youtube channels um i'll try to link all of this stuff below what I can if I can get the links for it if as long as everything is still available it should be but I will definitely try to link all of this stuff below and one of my next videos should be stuff that I have been enjoying for my weight loss journey I'll definitely let you guys know about that but until then thank you guys for watching if you like what you saw today, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button too. Um, leave a comment down below to let me know what you think and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.